Codename Viper on the NES, playing on normal difficulty level. Um, I don't, I'm trying to pre I'm trying not to press my luck here. It took me half an hour to clean this game and actually get it to start without, you know, a bunch of, you know, gibberish appearing on the screen. So now that the contacts are actually working properly, <laughs> I'm going to keep playing this game as long as I can, at least if I get to a password. Uh, in fairness, this is the best game I've come across so far. I, in terms of the NES games I used to own, this is probably this is definitely in the top half of NES games I used to own because I own some garbage, you know. I, I own some kind of some meh games like Tetris, which wasn't bad. It just didn't care that much about it. Castlevania 2, I guess, in retrospect, isn't as good as I wished it were, despite its concept. Pretty sure didn't I own Metroid at some point? Yeah, I think I own Metroid. Clash of Demon Head, stuff like that. I've owned, I want to say, at least two or three dozen NES games. Actually, at some point, I owned, I've owned more than 50 NES games at some point or another before trading them in. And this is certainly better than most of them. Absolutely. In fact, uh, I'm a big Rolling Thunder fan. Always was. I only rented it a couple of times. I think I rented it from an Errol's. I don't even remember anymore. There was a video store in a Plaza del Mercado in the Lay Hill area, Lay Hill, Maryland area, that had, that would rent, um, actually, where is it located now? I want to say there's a eyeglass proprietor there. <laughs> wow, how did I get past that guy? There was an eyeglass a repair guy there, and in the store that used to be a video store, I don't even know the name of this video store, but it wasn't Errol's. The Errol's was located next to the Sol de Italia. Actually, the Errol's used to be where Potomac Video is, and it's where Potomac Video used to be, but at any rate, there was a video store where the Giant used to be. I think it's an advanced auto parts thing. I have to check. Cause that, there's a Giant in Plaza del Mercado that's closed down now. But there was, a, there was definitely a video store near the Track Auto and the People's Drug. <laughs> and that video store had, I want to say it had Karate Kid. It had both Tengen games including Rolling Thunder and the Tengen version of Tetris, which is how I played them. Whoops, that's going to be bad. Okay, I got it. <laughs> and since Rolling Thunder was a big fan, I'm actually I'm pretty sure I played Rolling Thunder in the Glenmont Arcade, the Duck Pin Bowling Alley, which I'm pretty sure is close. But the Glenmont Bowling Alley had an arcade in the arcade, <laughs> and that's how I played Rampage for the first time. That's how I played Rolling Thunder. So I became a big fan of Rolling Thunder because I loved the pace of the game. I loved all the rainbow-colored enemies. I loved the fact that you can jump up and down, different change floors. It gave the game a it gave the game a different flavor, a different rhythm than games like Contra had. Because Contra, you know, I'm kind of okay with Contra. We're on deep whoop. I took two hits. That is some garbage. I'm on good enough terms with Contra, but I mean, this you can't somersault in this game, but you don't have to. Because again, the pacing of the game is, is, a, is a, it's such a precision game, it's such a technical game. And I tend to believe that games like Shadow, was it Shadow Dancer on the Genesis? That, that's like peak Rolling Thunder, if you will. Like if you had to make a game like Rolling Thunder, obviously there's Rolling Thunder 2, which I really need to play on the Genesis. That is a fantastic game. Had so much fun playing that game back in college. But games like this, with this pacing and this extremely technical, you know, pixel-perfect, you know, gameplay, I like it a lot more than I thought I would. And again, a game like Contra, you know, it's not as technical. It's a game where you're pretty much, you have more freedom of movement. Here, like I said, you know, all your jumping skills, you know, yours are a lot more limited. Your ammo is limited, which I know is a big turnoff for some people. Get this guy out the way, thank you. But... I've always loved these little, you know, floor switching, you know, handgun, Uzi shooting, super technical, super fast paced games. It's really hard to pull it off. And there have been games like Elevator Returns, the sequel. You know, they've tried to do that floor switching thing. Well, it's, it's kind of a different, it's kind of a different rhythm, actually. But for some reason, we don't get more of these 2D floor-switching games. I'm kind of disappointed by that. Because when you get the level design right, you know, and you get the mechanics down, it's a, it's a lot of fun. 
It's one, and I think it's actually the reason why Shadow Dancer is my favorite Genesis game of all time. At least so far. It's been a while since I played Starflight. I'll pick that up later. But there are a lot of Genesis games that are great, but I had, but no game is as addictive to me as the Shadow Dancer. Just incredibly fun, technical side scroller with the same floor switching mechanic, the same, you know, hostage saving mechanic, which is actually what is it? It's a sequel to an arcade game called Shinobi, which isn't like the which isn't like the NES game. I think Shinobi actually did come out on the NES, and it's not like Revenge of Shinobi or Shinobi Three on the Genesis. Shinobi Shadow Dancer is a lot like Shinobi, which is a lot like Rolling Thunder with the with the floor switching and the hostage saving. You don't uh, you don't hide indoors like you do here, so I so that's certainly different. But you definitely get that same rhythm of bouncing up and down the floors and kind of spamming the fire button to kind of keep enemies at bay. Although ammo, I think I think you can limit your ammo in the that in the Shadow Dancer Genesis game. I don't think your shurikens are limited at all in the Shinobi arcade game. I'll pull that out a bit later because I that's included on the Sega Genesis. What is it on the uh, Genesis Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection? I made a bunch of videos, including the Shinobi video I made, so I'll check that out, because it's, it's been about a, it's been about seven or eight months that I played it. But that Shinobi game is a lot like this, only with unlimited ammo. But like I said, it's pretty technical and it's pretty tight, so that's most of the challenge. Again, I'm, not, I'm trying not to waste continues, I might end up doing one anyway. Because hopefully the password I get resets my continues. We'll find out later once I get past this first stage. This is not a game that you can beat in an hour unless you really know what you're doing. And I'm not playing at a poor... I'm not playing at a low level, really. I'm just... I'm not playing casually. I'm actually... Kind of committed to this, but... Like I said, the game's very technical and it's pretty tight. But I'll be the first to say that I've had a lot of dumb deaths like that, you know. Deaths where I walk off a ledge because I got too close to the edge, that kind of thing. Annoying as crap. It's like I said, I'll practice. I'll get it down. I already got, I already got these prisoners, so I'll just move on. That, that's a risk. Got to keep that in mind. And it, when enemies jump, they're a risk. They can, they can pop you. This isn't like Shadow Dancer, where if you touch an enemy in the head, you won't do any damage. You won't take any damage either. You, have, uh, you can only take one hit in Shadow Dancer, but the hit only counts if it's with a weapon, basically. Or if a dog bites you, that kind of thing. Okay, he's out the left. Okay, he's down already. I wasted a bullet. Whoops, I gotta hold up. I think there's a trick there where if I hold up as an enemy's leaving that door, then I won't take the hit. It's like an invincibility. I get invincibility frames, I think. I'll check on that. You can tell by the, like I said, if you're, if you're used to playing like really slow, really methodical 8-bit games, this is not one of them. It's pretty much, it's a pretty much a white knuckle 8-bit game, more so than Contra. Of course, your character is bigger, so that might count for something. But like I said, this is the rhythm of the game, the pace of the game. It's built for that faster speed. So credit where credit is due. I was trying to get my hands on the Konami Arcade Classics Volume 1 for the 360. Because that has Super Contra the Arcade game, as well as Symphony of the Night. So that'll be my excuse to play through that, play through Symphony of the Night again. And I pretty much memorized the NES version of Super C. I'll probably, I'll probably try and see if I can pull out a video of that. I doubt I still have that game. The Super C is one of those games that I didn't really like, but I just played it over and over and over again so I can memorize it. Um, I don't recommend Super C unless you're really into Contra. It's, pro it's probably, it's certainly a more fair game than Contra was. Because Contra was some BS, let's be honest. Especially against some of the bosses, because you, if you die, you lose all your weapons and there's no checkpoints. It's some garbage. Okay, here we go. At least in the arcade game. Because I played the arcade game on the DS. It was included in the Ar Konami Arcade Classics collection. Which, unfortunately, never came out on any other systems. At least not yet. So if you want to play Kung Fu Row, which is my favorite Konami game of all time, at least I think it is. It's my favorite, it's my favorite 
Konami game from the 80s and the early 90s, I guess it's safe to say. Yes, you gotta skip ahead to Castlevania 3 to get to a better Konami game. But, yeah, that game, uh, that Kung Fu Road game is probably the best game they did. At least until, you know, the Castlevania 3 came out. And, uh, what was it? Was that a game called Time Pilot, which was actually kind of cool? I think it was kind of like Two Tigers, remember that flying game. It was an arcade game where you had a stop with camel of some sort. It was a single screen arcade game. You would do loop de loops and drop bombs on battleships. Time Pilot was kind of like that because it had the same mechanic. Where you like, you know, you would hold up to, uh, to loop above you and hold down to loop below you. I'm trying to remember how it worked, but it was sort of an interesting series of mechanics there. I'll, if I can find two tigers, I'll be able to dig it out, maybe. I don't know. But good luck finding the arcade game. But you remember, I don't download ROMs, so... There'll be another... There'll probably be other ways I can sample two tigers. We'll see how it goes. Not that interested in 80s arcade games. But for some reason... I mean, I am, but only if they're available legally. So that means me getting, like, you know, Midway's Arcade Classics or something. Like a compilation disc. Which I believe I do have on the PS2, I'll check. Because I know I had um, Midway Arcade Classics on the Xbox, and I'm pretty sure I sold that. And I might have replaced it with PS2 copies, I'll check on that. Got my way. So that knockback got him out of my face. That guy, there's always a risk for someone to come out of that door, so that's kind of annoying. So I'll try that hold up trick. So that I don't take a hit on the so that so I don't take a hit when I land. I'll keep that in mind. Because ducking doesn't seem to work. That, that, that. It's, it's cheeky, but kind of gruesome. But they allowed that. They didn't censor that. Gotcha. That was a tough, that was a tight jump right there in between two dudes. That was really tight. He's down. And I don't know if there's any flickering in this stage at all, but they did a pretty good job of keeping the sprite count, you know, manageable. Despite all the action that's going on. So props to them. Props to the developers for, you know, no, getting getting a hold, getting hold of the NES's limits and kind of building the challenges around that. Legit. Good job, dudes. Like I said, so far this is the best game I've played so far. At least out of the set that I bought. I'll check out Pinbot in a second if I can ever get it working. Because I cleaned it a few times and it's still not working. But then again, neither was this game until about an hour ago, so... Which is why I'm loath to pull it out. Because I'm worried I'm more I won't be able to play it again. Frogman. There he goes. As long as I don't jump, I'm fine. And he's down. Nope, he didn't fall in. Gotta hit him on the back side of that ledge. <laughs> I don't want him to go down. Ooh, I'm over 100. Okay, so now I know. So it's a set number of bullets that gets added to your total. Nope, they were good. Got the frog guy, purple guy, <laughs> on the water. Okay, where are these guys in the holes? I see you. I can't duck that. And I can't slide. Let me check on something. Pretty sure I can't slide. I can backtrack. It's so I can duck jump, but I can't backslide. That's unfortunate. Well, you know, frog guy. Yeah, I shouldn't have wasted the bullet. He's not going to hit me anyway. And he's down. Yep, he's down. Where's the frog guy? Right there. And the purple guy, I got him. Okay, where's that dude in the hole? Remember, I can't duck. Ah, 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 ah. Probably have to take out the guy on top first. How about that? I can just avoid that green guy entirely. How's that sound? Not the way, dude. There's a bit of flickering there. And he's down. Okay, give me my... Uzi. Okay. I'm gonna keep at it, folks. I'm sorry. I mean, never said there's gonna be a no. I never said there's gonna be a deathless run. Okay, let's avoid all this. I'll probably just avoid all this. Is there something down here I need to get? Maybe that's why I'm freaking out. That is said, get it again. I'll continue anyway. Cause I want that password. Probably not gonna get it. But we'll see how it goes. Beat it. He's down. Let's get my Uzi. Get to the flying leaf. Why not? 
But yeah, if I were doing a game like this, there'd be like more secret passages, maybe a greater variety of weapons. We'll see how it goes. Nope, missed. Okay, where's that guy? He's over here somewhere. That, 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 that. Again, I'm freaking out. I, I just need to avoid that guy, right? Well, like I said, I just want to see what's. I'm being greedy. I just want to see what's behind him. Cause I keep forgetting what's up there. And he's down. Get my Uzi. I might need to take three or four shots to bring him down. Frog guy, purple guy. Okay. Where is he? Nah, let's get this guy out the way. Got him. So I don't need to crouch. Let me go down here and see what's here. Okay, there is a guy there. There is a something up there. There we go. Can't reach him. Just a second. Okay, I'm safe-ish. Yeah, there is something here. Well, I can't get over, so that's the other problem. Get some separation. Just a second, move over here. There it is. Can you on the way down? Okay. I can probably hit him on the way up, but it's kind of tight. Okay, I got him. Is anyone over here? Oh. Keep moving. Someone over here. Did I already get that? Nope, didn't get that yet. Okay, get some more bullets for later. This guy, that guy respawned. Gosh darn it. Okay, never mind. I'm learning. This technically is a research stream, but hey. I'm learning. Learn by dying, am I right? I should only get three continues for this entire game, so I'm not I'm definitely on a, not on a good pace now. Frog, purple. Okay. So is there someone here I need to get? No. Let's go up. Not up. Up there. Nope. Gotta go up. So I gotta jump and then climb it. Okay. So that's the catch. So the game's teaching you stuff. To be fair. The game is teaching you stuff. Gotcha. Okay, we're good. So I avoided some of that garbage. Sit down. Alright, uh, this guy. There we go. Prisoner, yes. Got a bomb, oh. Someone set us up the bomb. What does the bomb do? I know what a bomb at, I don't know what it does. Sit. Anyone else? Get some cobs. Uh, da, 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 da. see if I can get this guy. Yellow guy takes two shots, or he takes two hits, and he shoots. And he moves, so he's he's pretty dangerous. Isn't there a black guy who's like moves and takes three shots or something? Does anyone have a shield in this game? That I don't remember. It's been a while since I read Nintendo Power. They told me this stuff. I can't shoot up, by the way. Just keep that in mind. I can duck his bullets. So that's good. Guess I'm not a duck. He's down. That that should not have done that. Got. Oh, I, I can't turn around while crouching. Do I have to shoot? Do I have to shoot if I want to crouch and turn? Do I have to shoot if I want to do the crouch turn? That sucks. I mean, I have to waste bullets. Well, I think I made it. Okay, that's the bomb I needed. Right? Do I get a password? At least I made it through. Wow. Well, <sighs> lore. <laughs> Am I right? Be careful. Okay. There would be a password here. There is no password. Maybe when I die, there'll be a password. Might just be a midway point password. Kind of wish more games had that if they thought they were too easy to do a real password, I guess. This game's going to be tough. I'm not going to be able to beat this game in three continues unless I get a lot more practice. God! And stuff like that keeps happening. This. Okay, I'm good. No, I'm not. No password. This will not go well. Oh well. I'm not scared. If I get through level one, no problem, I think. When, that wasn't too bad. What, that, that, that. See, I can't turn around. I gotta get creative. Again, am I gonna have to shoot to do that crouch turn? Nah. Nah, it's, I can't do it. That's unfortunate. 
It's annoying as crap, by the way. I mean, I think Alien 3 on the Super NES had a crouch turn. Because I use it several times, so that's annoying as heck. Of course, you can't crouch in Mega Man. You can slide, of course, but... It, it always amazes me the things you can't do in certain games. It just bugs me to death when you can't do them. Like, simple stuff, like... Like, something like you can't shoot while doing this jump. But again, it's probably part of the mechanics. But you can't... I mean, okay, maybe you can't slide. I understand that. You can't run. Okay, I guess that's okay. That, that, not... Should not have gone, should not have jumped up there. I should have just stayed low and I did the high jump. That 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 took the hit. I held up and I took the hit. Just dumb stuff. I think I think some of these doors have health in them. See, that's that's gonna be a problem. That's he's gonna pin me down with suppressing fire. And I can't do a crouch turn. I gotta practice that. I'm sure there's a way around that. Maybe I just have to jump around. Jump, jump, jump up and get down. I... Nothing in there. There was something in there. Nope, nothing in there either. Come on. Get me. There we go. One more. Yeah, there we go. Come on. There we go. One more. Ah! I hit him! I don't know if that counts as the death, but... Again, hard and fast rules. Don't touch people. That's the hard and fast rule. No touching. I can arrest the development. No touching. Bad touch. Touching is bad. I got the high here until they pass. There we go. Because they're gonna they're gonna jump. If they jump, they're gonna take they're gonna take a hit. Or I'm gonna take a hit. So. Yeah, I'm good. And these guys don't take hits. I'm the only one who takes hits. The only thing they take are bullets to the face. That's the only thing they can't take, actually. They can take anything else. That's weird. Come on. Go down. Okay, now he goes down. That was bad. Should have stayed inside. Should have taken the second shot and then stayed inside. Just bad form, Briggs. The Viper is coming. Can I do this? Got him. Had to time it, but I made it work. What? That was bad. Gotta work on that. Okay, we'll give it one more continue. But I'm gonna use them all up. I'm just hoping I get a password at the end of all this. I probably won't. So that password's not gonna do me any good. That's it. Okay, nothing in here. So basically, I know there's nothing in here anymore. Just hiding spaces. Yeah, that yeah, jump. See, I made it. See, make it work. Clever enemy placement, guys. Well done. Make them earn it. There we go. My bullets. Stay hidden. Stay hidden. There we go. Okay, I got him. He's down. Forget how many points these guys are worth. I'll check. That guy's worth 200. Because I don't know when I get my extra lives either. Got him. Can't go. Can't crouch down. Got him. That's a tight one. See, again, I can't crouch turn, so I got to... I told you this game's super technical. Crap. Okay, got him. That's safe. Safe. That's a lot safer than jumping. Oh, well, where's my Uzi? Yeah, stay low for a minute. I'll jump up in a second. Whoops, see, I knew I had to go up eventually. Yeah. Can't get up there. Can I go down? Ah-ha! Don't want to miss one. I don't know if I have to get all these guys. I think I get more points if I do. Get up. Never mind. Why are these guys there? Is it for humor? <laughs> I mean, I'm laughing, but, you know. That's the point. <laughs> we're good there. What's that danger mean? Is it just uh, ornamentation, I guess? Seems fine to me. I guess it's just ornamentation. There's danger all around, let's be honest. Keep on searching, but beware. What the? Did I get him? Okay, I got him. Kind of dicey there for a second. <laughs> right. Ugh. This game's fun, but, you know, I'm kind of... 
starting to kind of, I admit some of my excitement's kind of withered <laughs> as I'm taking these cheap shots. I mean, again, I admit it's me. It's not the game. I need to slow down a bit. Be more methodical. Be more technical. But again, stuff like not being able to do the crouch turn in a game like this kind of hurts. So I don't mind the limited ammo, but I do mind... And the infinitely respawning enemies, I guess, aren't too bad. Because there, there are enough bullet things around so that running out of bullets isn't a problem unless you stand still. But, yeah, the inability to do a crouch turn hurts. Hold up, hold up. Okay, there we go. That, 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 he got me as soon as I popped out. Should have held up. I guess I wasn't expecting him to actually shoot. I don't know why. There's a risk. That, that, keep forgetting. Now it's just bad. No, uh, passwords, huh? Okay, I tell you what. We'll call it, we'll call it, uh, we'll call it an end. I'm pretty sure Nintendo Power had the game atlas that told you the passwords. I think they're, so if they're not every stage, if they're not every other stage, I don't know what they are. So, um, wish me luck. I'm gonna have to take the game out of the console and, um, put in something else and it probably won't start. But if something starts, it's gonna be pinbot, so I'll give pinbot a shot.